Let's take a look at 37 C and D. We've already done A and B. Those were about Hamilton circuits. Uh, part C asks us to modify the given graph by removing the least number of edges so that the resulting graph has an Euler circuit. Okay, um, we remember that an Euler circuit means that um, you go on each edge of the graph once and only once and get back to the vertex you started at. Okay, so if there's an edge in the graph, you've got to go across it, but you can only go across it once. And we have a rule that, or a theorem that tells us that for there to be an Euler circuit in a graph, it has to have vertices that are all even. So in this case, I've already marked it. This one, this is an even vertex. It has two edges coming out of it. This one has two edges coming out of it. It is also even. This one has two edges coming out of it. It's even. And then these down here both have three, so they're odd. That would give us an Euler path because we have two odd vertices, but we're looking for an Euler circuit. So we're going to have to get rid of edges to do that. And the truth is that I can either start at E or start at D, and I can erase any one edge I want, but that's going to determine the other edge that I have to erase. So let's go ahead and start at D, and I'm going to erase the edge from D to C. And now my cell phone again is talking to me here. Okay. Um, we erase the edge from D to C. So that changes our degree here to 2. So this is good. Uh, the problem is now we've got a degree 1. This is odd here, and this is still odd here. But we can take care of that. Let's get rid of this edge. OK. Now that we've gotten rid of this edge, this guy here is kind of a degree 0 vertex at this point. But it's not odd. And now this one is a degree 2 vertex. So I have all even degrees, and I was able to do that by removing two edges from the graph. So um, I'll actually, after we get done with this, I'll show you how that works, where we can do it with two different edges. But for now, that, that's a solution to what they were asking for. And so now we have to write down an Euler circuit for D. So an Euler circuit we do with the arrows. Let's start at A. So we're starting at A. We'll go to D. Once we get to D, we'll go to B. That was two. Once we're at B, we'll go to E. And once we're at E, we'll go back to A. And that gives us oops, fourth edge. And that gives us our Euler circuit. We went on each edge once and only once. OK, so um, this answer is different from the one in the back of the book, but that's only because, um, because I picked two different edges. You could pick two different edges up here. As long as you pick two edges that make an Euler circuit, you're going to be fine. So let's look at a couple different ones. You can stop watching now if you don't want to, if you don't want to see a couple of different answers. But if you're interested in seeing another way to solve this, we'll go ahead and do that here. Okay, so we had A, B, C, D, and E. And our edges. Okay, the last time we erase these two edges. Well, what happens if I erase this edge instead? Okay, I'm good down here, I'm even here, but now I'm odd here and here, so I have to erase that edge. Now, all of the vertices that are left are even degree. This one's two, this one's two, this one's two, this one's two. And I can make an Euler circuit that goes A to D, D to C, C to E, and E to A. Let's draw those back in um, and erase these guys. If I erase E to A, I have to erase A to D so that all of my vertices are still even. And that gives me an Euler circuit. I could do B to D, D to C, C to E, E to B, 
and all of the edges would be covered once and only once. So there are a few different ways to go about solving this. Um, you'll notice though, it's not just that you can, you can erase any two edges. If I erased this edge here, oops, and this edge over here, that doesn't do me any good at all, right? There's no way I'm going to get a circuit because I have uh, odd degree here, odd degree here. There's no way that I'm going to have a, an Euler circuit in that graph. There's no way I can even have a circuit in that graph because once I leave A, there's no way for me to ever come back to A. Once I leave C, there's no way for me to ever come back to C. So I couldn't have a circuit there. So if you're going to remove edges from this one to find a, a graph with an Euler circuit, you either have to remove the two coming out of A, the two coming out of B, or the two coming out of C. And that will leave you with an Euler circuit when you are done. And that is question number 37 from homework um, 15.3. This was 37 C and D. 37 A and B are in a separate video, and if you've got any other questions, shoot me an email, and I would be more than happy to help you out.